Hello. This time we're going to be looking at the volume of a sphere. And it turns out that calculating the volume of a sphere is really pretty easy because there's only one number that you have to figure out. There's only one thing about that sphere that you need. And you can see that when you look at the formula for the volume of a sphere. The volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius of that sphere cubed or raised to the third power. Now that's a big difference between this formula and many of the other volume formulas that you'll look at is a lot of times you're going to be taking the radius and you're going to be squaring it raising it to the second power but here you're going to be raising it to the third power you have to be careful about that a lot of times people will get into the habit of raising things to the second power or squaring it and that will give you the wrong answer when you are calculating the volume of a sphere so the only thing you need to figure out is you need to figure out what is the radius of this sphere before you can calculate the volume and in a problem like this one right here it's easy it's given to us. The radius is simply the distance from the center of the sphere out to the edge. And here it's given to us as 5 inches. So let's put that in for radius. The volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi times 5 to the third power. Let's punch that into our calculator. So we have 4 thirds. How do you enter that into your calculator? Calculators can handle fractions in different ways. The way I always like to do it is just to enter this in as if it's a division problem. 4 divided by 3. That seems to be the easiest way. It will work on all calculators. So 4 divided by 3 times pi. I'll use the pi key on my calculator. You could use 3.14 as an approximation for pi, but if you hit the pi key it will give you the exact value of pi, times 5 raised to the third power. On my calculator I have a little caret key right here. It looks like a little arrow pointing up. So I'm going to hit 5 caret key 3, which means 5 raised to the third power, and now I can just hit equals, and it gives us approximately 523.598. If I'm going to round that to the nearest tenth, it's going to be 523.6. So the volume is approximately equal to 523.6. And this length was measured in inches, so volume is always a cubic measurement, so this is going to be in inches cubed or inches to the third power. Let me show you one more problem involving the volume of a sphere. So here's another one. Remember our formula for volume. Volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Again, it's simply a matter of punching in the numbers. One trick, one common error I mentioned in the last problem was forgetting to raise this radius to the third power and accidentally doing it to the second power. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. The other most common error in uh, volume of sphere problems is shown right here. In a problem like this, it gives us our diameter of this sphere as 18. The volume formula requires us to know the radius, not the volume. But it's very easy to just take the number given and don't even think about it. You just plug that number right in, but you're going to get a number that's way off if you take this diameter. If the diameter is 18, we know the radius from here to here would be half that. So the radius is actually going to be 9 centimeters. That's the number that the formula wants, not the diameter of 18. So the volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi times the radius 9 raised to the third power. And now, again, it's just simply a matter of entering that into our calculator. 
and so let me clear that out and again four thirds is four divided by three times pi times nine raised to the third power don't forget to raise it to the third power nine raised to the third power equals three hundred I'm sorry three thousand fifty three point six two eight rounded to the nearest tenth is going to be three thousand fifty three point six so volume is equal to and maybe I shouldn't say equal to volume is approximately three thousand fifty three point six what are the units on this number? We measured the radius and the diameter in centimeters, so our units for this measurement will be in centimeters cubed, or centimeters to the third power. So there is our answer. Be careful. Don't forget to raise your radius to the third power, and also don't forget if they give you the diameter, cut it in half to get the radius, and put the radius in there, not the diameter length. Be careful with that, and good luck.